Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to load data into Pandas, which is a Python library for managing and manipulating data. As usual, you can find a link to this notebook in the description below. To get started, we need to import the Pandas library, and as usual, we're going to do this using the import command. But this time, we're going to import the library using an alias for the name, so that we don't always have to write the name of the library when we're referring to it. So if you look at this cell where we import the pandas library, you can see that the import pandas command is followed by the statement as and then two letters pd, which is now the abbreviation that we use to refer to the pandas library. And now that I've imported the library, we can access all its functions using the abbreviation pd. Now that we've imported the library, we can move ahead and load some data into pandas. And in this case, we're going to load a single CSV file, which stands for comma separated values. It's a um, common format for storing tabular data. And in this case, we are going to load a part of a corpus called the SFU Opinion and Comments Corpus, which contains opinion articles from the Globe and Mail, um, which is a Canadian newspaper. So we have this file named socgnmarticles.csv in a directory named data, as indicated in this cell. And we're going to use the read csv function from pandas to read the comma separated values file. And then we're going to assign the result under the variable socc. And when I run this cell, what we get back is a pandas data frame, which is a pandas specific object for storing tabular data. And we can examine the output, the type of the object, and as you can see, it's indeed a data frame. The data frame contains a wealth of methods for exploring its contents. And just to give you an idea of a couple of these methods, we're going to use the head method to print out the first five rows of the data frame under the variable SOCC. And now that I run this cell, we'll get the first five rows in the data frame. The data frame has several columns, and as you can see from the headers, we have things like article ID, its title, address, the author, when it was published, and the number of comments, and then the article text itself, all in their own column. And what we have here in the rows are first the number of the rows, the so-called indices. And as you can see, the counting starts from zero as usual in Python. So here we have the first five rows. And this is essentially data in a tabular format. And because the data is in a tabular format, we can of course access values stored in specific cells defined by the columns and the rows. And one way to do this is to use the at accessor to inspect single items stored in a data frame. So how this works is that we're going to call the at accessor and then note the brackets. We're going to put the index first. In this case, we're going to fetch the title of the article at index 123. We first put in the row index and then we give the name of the column as a string object. So if I run this cell, then we will get the title of the article at this index. In the next few videos, we're going to take a look at how to manipulate data using pandas. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks.